Okay, we're going to look at rabbit ear folds. And we'll start with the one on the right here. Uh, this has valley folds along each of the angled bisectors of this triangle. That's the most common way you'll see it. It's also the easiest way. And if you come across one of these, uh, it's usually easiest if you start by folding each of the valley folds first. Let's fold them all separately. And anytime the folds are along the three angle bisectors of a triangle, they will all meet at a common point. Fold all three of those. And then to actually do the rabbit ear fold, you're going to make all three of those folds at once. And while you do that, you'll be making this mountain fold over here. And when rabbit ears are done this way along the angle bisectors, this mountain fold over here will be perpendicular to this edge. And so you'll want to make all three of those folds at once. And then make that mountain fold like that. And when you're done, all three of the edges of that triangle will all lie along the same line. This flap can go either way. Uh, in this case, we have the mountain fold, so it, it'll be going down like that. So that's the most common way you'll see rabbit folds. There's also folds that are not along the angle bisectors, like this one on the left. You'll do it in the same way, um, but this mountain fold, when it comes into play, it won't be perpendicular to this edge, and they, these edges won't all lie along the same line. So you'll do the same thing, you just fold each of the valley folds first. Then make all three of the valley folds at once. And then push the flap to one side. And then you'll also come across double rabbit ear folds. And for a double rabbit ear fold, uh, it'll just look like this in a diagram, um, but you'll just imagine that it's the same thing on the other side. This. Uh, if it was a case like this, you can actually open it up all the way and it'll be a little easier to fold each of these first. all of these folds and these are all along the bisectors we'll close it back up and we'll be making all of those folds at once we do all of those mountain folds and this crease up here is going to reverse so if you push that in Reverse that crease and close it all up. So we'll see that again. It looks like that. Now, a lot of the times when you see these, you won't be able to open it up and crease it the way that we did. If that's the case, you can actually just crease through both of the layers like this. And then as you actually make the fold, you'll have to reverse the creases on the opposite side. You won't see those too much, but you'll definitely come across them. And there we are.